in studio audience. Give a round of applause to Vivian Green, who's here yeah. in the Red Velvet Cake Studios this morning. Good morning, Vivian Green. Good morning. How are you? I'm wonderful. Yeah, you got to get right back to your baby, huh? Yes. <laughs> yes. It's going to get this over with. <laughs> <laughs> Who is he? Um. Wow. <laughs> I, no hey, one ever Sib? asked that. Oh, my God. Was, well, welcome to the cake. I know. I mean, Sib, was, go, you've been here 30 seconds. And I she know. Went, and she I, went right I in. I so wasn't ready, like, in any capacity. <laughs> Um, okay, we got time though. Who? who? <laughs> Dang, Sib. She well, usually she usually does that to guys. She, <laughs> she doesn't usually go in hard on women like that. Yeah. So who is he? Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Jay. Right, well, and initially when um, when Kwame and I made made the song, uh, you can see the right over there. Um, we we wanted to make a song that was happy mm -hmm. because. He was he he always says that you know you're like this happy bubbly right. funny person you're crazy and like none of your records reflect that it's always the sad yeah. girl the depressed girl and when we met you're right about that Kwame yeah he's like I would think you would be a totally different person with another personality so you need to make some records that fit who this you light, are who you are so that's kind of how it started it really didn't Did start off with me thinking about my man but that's a question going about how the song came about it yeah well that's how it came about so i'm saying it wasn't necessarily me sitting thinking about necessarily the, the is guy. the word it's necessarily <laughs> it is the was, word okay so oh. so who is he who is he <laughs> oh my gosh he's a wonderful wonderful man oh. <laughs> so are you in love yeah, okay. yeah, but you know what's really cool about it is that I was single for almost four years, and I needed that, and it was great, and I loved spending time by myself and getting to know myself, and you know, just reflecting on things. And sometimes I think women are Wait a minute, afraid. You hear that? You hear that? Afraid of that because afraid of being lonely and right. all that. But you have to, you know, just face that fear. If so sometimes that, we need to go to through that. To, that guy, that guy is somewhere in Philadelphia right now. To saying, be in the. To how be come, in the how right come you place. don't say my name? How come you don't say my name? <laughs> You shamed me? You shamed me? You know, I think when we're lonely, we we, we don't Keep attract. Going. I'm so not mad at you, Vivian. Keep going. Oh Keep when we're lonely, we don't attract the right thing. Right. But right. when you're together and when you are comfortable okay. with yourself, within yourself, you attract somebody, you know, some positive energy to and, yourself. And your music is reflecting your happy state. Yeah. I like that. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. I like yes. saying somebody's name. I love that. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> so not mad at that. <laughs> okay, let's get into it. Uh, it's not out yet? No, it comes out Friday, okay. Yay. August seventh. Okay. Yay! People can pre-order now, though. But yeah, we lose it all. Disrespectful. Mm hmm All right, is that a happy song? Um. <laughs> well, well, the is that entire a happy song about this man? It's not. It's it's not. I'm so happy, everybody. It's not that type of album. I do touch on all facets of love and and self love and spirituality as well. Uh. But it's just from a different perspective. I think a lot of people don't realize when I debuted, I, I wrote most of my first album when I was about 20 years old. And when it came out, I was 22. And I guess because of the, the lyrical content or how mature it was, people thought I was older. So I was really like, a, you know, a girl, like coming into my adulthood. So I'm writing from a perspective of a grown woman now. And this is called Disrespectful. Disrespectful. This, I mean, the whole album is from the perspective of a grown woman. And okay. so even if I'm t talking about heartbreak, it's not going to make you want to cry. It's going to make you want to get up and, and get over and, and move past it. So Disrespectful is about a woman who's single, but she has a friend. Mm -hmm. Like, she has a friend. Uh -huh. <laughs> a friend. And, she's, and uh, she's doing air quotes. Uh, air quotes. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and he's, really, he's a really nice guy, but she's been by herself he's for a, a minute. Nice guy. Really nice guy. Okay. He's doing, pulling out all the stops, and but she's still one to be single but right. she really likes him so she's kind of afraid to kind of step over to cross the line and so let's really start trying to date so she's saying i don't want to feel anything for you why can't you respect that right. i don't want to feel anything for you right now Just you want to hear it? respect that yeah okay <laughs> hold me Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> and I'm not broken. I guess that says, if that says what. Yeah, it kind of yeah. much says it. Yeah, it's a it's a powerful song. You know, it's definitely it's. Very, I think it's a very powerful uh, breakup song where she's the she's okay. She's not hurt. She's not crying. She's all right, and she's gonna move past it. And you didn't break up. Yeah, I'm 
not broken. I'm not broken. See, it's upbeat. See? It's not depressing. Have you been Have, <laughs> have you been, been broken? broken? Have you ever been broken? Oh, I, when I was, yeah, my first love, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. What was his name? <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say it, but I won't say it. <laughs> yeah, that jerk at? Yeah. Um, well, leave, yeah. it, leave it all behind. Um... Just, it pretty much says, says it. Says itself. It pretty yeah, much says it, yeah. Okay. yeah. I'll just leave it all behind. 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 Not even worth the time. So I'll leave it all behind. I'll leave it all behind. Living in the moment. Like it's So you said you, were, you, you, you weren't working for about four years? Um, well, that, no, I think I've always been working, but I just had that a long hiatus, yeah. Why? It was three years. Well, which one are you talking about? There was a big one that was between um, my second and third album. That was actually five years, and then the, this last one was about three years. So which one? <laughs> 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 the first one was because I, I had my son. Right, oh, how's right, he doing? He's doing really wonderful. He's 11 years old now. Wow. Yeah. yeah. And he was born with an unknown syndrome. Mm-hmm. So, like, all in all, both breaks, all the time that I've taken off of between albums, so I've been working in between, still performing and stuff, have yeah. been to, you know, to take care of him. Um, the first years of his life were really difficult. We were in the hospital all the time, all the time, all the time. And then, I guess, when he crossed over to about five or six, things started to really smooth out, mm-hmm. you know. But that first five-year hiatus was definitely because of that, yeah. And his health is... He's doing so amazingly well. It's amazing. What like, is unknown syndrome? It's like they don't know what it is. They don't. There's not another kid like in him. In the world? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, wow. yeah. He's wow. like this anomaly. And how does it's this incredible. syndrome affect him? Well, um, his, his, it affects his bones. Well, first of all, let me rewind really fast. When I was pregnant, they told me he was going to die. Mm. And they told me all these like really horrible things. And that he, he couldn't possibly live past a week of being here. And... And um, they told me I could legally abort him because of all the issues. But he had started moving by that time, so I, I just just could not do it. I just couldn't bring myself to do it. Mm-hmm. So when he got here um, and I saw him, I'm like, okay, this is from what you guys were saying. Right. This is <laughs> I can different. do this, Lord, yeah. you know, because I was just praying every day. It was like really like one of the worst times ever. Um, but when he got here, I just, I just had all this hope because it wasn't what all the things that they said, like they said, he didn't have any fingers, his entire, his entire cardiovascular system was malformed and there's nowhere his heart could pump properly and just so many things. But, but when he was born, when he was born, he looked at him and he he looked, he's tiny, you know, he's 11, but he probably looks like he's seven or eight and his index finger and his thumb share the same bone. Mm -hmm. So he doesn't have opposition Mm -hmm. and his thumb. So, um, they told me he wouldn't be able to do like all these things and plastic surgery wanted to go in and like remove this finger. Well, I'm sorry, remove this finger and take this off completely and put the index finger here. And he would have four fingers, but opposition, if that makes any sense. Well, if right now he has five, they just kind of like this. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah. if that makes sense. And the thumb doesn't really bend. And um, I just wasn't with it, you know? I, I feel like that's something that if he wants to do later on in his life, then he can do that mm-hmm. on his own. But I didn't want to make that decision for him, mm-hmm. you know? And uh, and God is so good that he can do everything they said he couldn't do. You know, he can hold everything. He can hold any utensil. He can write. He can do all the things they told me he wouldn't be able to do if he didn't get the surgery. He, he can do it. So he's, it's amazing. And you, took off, and you took off how long? Five years? Yeah, that was five years. Five yeah, years to person. take care of your, yeah, and, your son. And, and yeah, absolutely. And Bless really, your heart. Thank you. And it really, uh, it, it affected my career, absolutely, because when I came back in 2010, it was like a totally different mm-hmm. ball game. Situation. You know, social mm-hmm. media was out. and So it's like starting all over yeah, again. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. But, you know, I don't regret it at all. You no. know, you do what you have to do for your yeah, family. That's right. Family and, first. Yeah. And I'm really releasing my fifth album on Friday. <laughs> and I'm still doing it after 12 years. So Congratulations. What's complain. his name? Jordan. Now oh, we get a nice. name. Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> 